In this video, I'm going to show you how to basically 3D scan any items you want, convert it to digital, then you could either design in Blender, Autodesk, or even cooler, design in VR. Hey friends, welcome back. So, recently I've been designing this RC self-driving car, and I needed a 3D model for this. But if I use a caliber and just measure every single piece, parts by parts, it's just going to take forever. So I've been thinking how to 3D scan this. I've discovered that you can use your phone to do something called photogrammetry to do 3D scanning. So once this is digitized, I can manipulate the design in Blender or maybe Autodesk. But even cooler, what if we can do some designs in VR from this? And that's going to be this project. Let's dive into it. To start 3D scanning, you'll need a phone, and we're going to be using an app called Polycam. The app itself is free, but there's a small cost to download the files that we need later on. And no, I'm not sponsored by Polycam, so this is going to be coming out of my own pocket as well. That said, you can still follow along with the steps and try it out, you just won't be able to extract the files. Once we have the app, we'll go into photo mode and start scanning. To get the best results, You'll want to do a full 360 degree scan, covering as much of the item's surface as possible. Make sure the item is well lit, and move your phone slowly and steadily while scanning. After you are done, the app will automatically upload to their cloud computing to process the images. We will then do some cleaning on the object we just scanned. Using the cropping tool, let's go ahead and select only the area we are interested in. And while we're doing that, let me explain how this scanning works. It utilizes something called Structure from Motion, which reconstructs a 3D model by analyzing overlapping images. These images have unique interesting points that can be discovered over and over again. And you use these points to track your camera position in space. I will leave some links in the description for more info. What's cool about this is you can also use drone footage here and reconstruct environment in 3D. All right, here's the results of all the items I've scanned. Now that we have finished our scanning, we're gonna go to Polycan and check for our 3D scan. Okay, I already have the files opened. I already scanned the car. Here's the result. It looks pretty good. And one thing I wanna try is to measure and see how accurate the scanning is. So I am gonna use a measurement tool I'm going to select, I think, right about here is where I measured. And that's just roughly to the opposite side, I think, right about here should be good. So it should be around 0 0.12, 0 0.13, which is what I'm measuring. Okay, I'm going to stop myself here from rambling. All you need to know is the width was about 5 millimeters off, the height is about 2 millimeters off, and the length of the car was by the highest, it's about 2 centimeters off. So give or take, the measurement from the scan is at the largest about 2 centimeters off, which is really good consider how fast we can get a scan in. So let's go ahead and download. Hit the download button. We'll be using OBJ file. We're going to go ahead and export. Once we exported our OBJ file, let's try it to open in Blender and see how it looks. We're going to go to File, Import, and select OBJ. You will then locate your folder which has the OBJ file in there and we're gonna open it or import. Let's go ahead and take out this cube because it's annoying, it's in our way. And you just see a small model here. Once you have your model imported, you might see this without your texture. So we're gonna check the material in your object that you just imported and make sure there's textures. You can see there's base colors. And one thing we should check is go here Go to Shader Editor, and you should see some textures connected to your base color. And if you still don't see any texture here, it might be as simple as going to the viewport shading. In that case, that's, that's it for me. So now we can see the color. And here's the cool thing. I already connected to VR, and if you press N on your keyboard, there's a VR setting right here. And I can start a VR session. Okay. So I am now wearing my VR headset and I am in the Blender view, which you can probably see on the screen. I have the 3D model. It looks really nice. It is really, really nice. 
You can see the tires, you can look at the ESC, the servos, can see everything. I can even enlarge it. This is not F110 anymore. This is F60, F50. I don't know. Gigantic. Let's look at the other side. Look at that suspension. The other side looks great. Man, feels like I'm riding in there. Anyway, that's how you view it in Blender. We're, we're going to do a lot more than this. We're going to have to do some design. Now on to the fun part. We're going to go ahead and try this in VR. We'll use a software called Gravity Sketch. Let's go to their homepage. And let's get started. I already loaded the software and configuration. All the tutorials are documented on this website. But let's go ahead and launch the software. We're going to select Tethered VR because I have an HTC headset. And let's open it. All right, let's go ahead and load the models that we downloaded. We can click the left button menu. We're going to go to import. We're going to find a folder that we imported into. Here we go. Let's go ahead and grab this. You can rotate it, set it correctly. Let's just go ahead and do that. Let's grab this. And there you go. This is the car we have earlier. Let's go ahead and load the rest of the sensors. There you have it. We can do some sketch here. Okay, so I now have my model car with all the sensors on. You can see I have a LiDAR here, I have some power board, I have some Jetson over here. And this is where I can start doing being creative and start designing. Oh, and don't let my three-year-old drawing skills fool you. There are way better modelers out there. Just look at this amazing space rover created by the community. There's tons of incredible work from the community, so be sure to check it out. And if you want to see my final design for the car, I plan to upload it in the coming month. Though it's holiday seasons right now, so there's going to be a little delay. But be sure to follow. Alright everyone, I hope you learned something today. What kind of items would you want to scan in 3D? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching, and until next time, signing off.